And welcome back, guys, to part 27 of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last part, we finally reconstructed the Masamune, and it is now our duty, as hero, adventurer, slash whatever, to uh, donate our time, and slash or sword, to the person that is supposed to be wielding it, which is Frog. So let's just go over the Curse Woods here. How are you guys doing? I am doing great. I am having so much fun. I don't think we really need to fight these things. Um, I'm getting into pretty much the best part in the game now, uh, that I consider probably one of the coolest parts of this game. And, uh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of exposition, so, yeah, get, get used to that. This part is gonna be completely exposition, probably. Tis thee again. Sorry, no frog voice, I'm not doing it. <laughs> this sword, tis the Masamune. Uh-oh. I think we have, we've heard his feelings. I must ponder this turn of events. Remaineth here the night. How? <laughs> well, not how, it's just sort of like, this is going to be really, really boring. There's no, nothing to do, there's no TV, man. Oh, well, I guess we get a flashback, so that should suffice for us. Cyrus, are you leaving? Yes, it's time we took back the medal from the Frog King. And let me to see that mythical sword for myself. But Cyrus, the kingdom needs you. And Lean and I need you. You must return to us. As long as there is life in these bones, I shall return. By your leave. We're so honor bound in this type of era. So Cyrus! We, the Knights of the Square- oh right! The Knights of the Square Table! Yeah, that's our god reference there, game. <laughs> Wish you a safe journey! Listen well, my friends. I now entrust the safety of the Kingdom to you. Pardon the delay, shall we be off? Glenn, you be careful too. Be of sound health, your majesty. Ba -na 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 -na. Uh. But yeah, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things where a lot of people would say, like, why couldn't we play this part of the game? I know that uh, it's, I guess, technically spoiling, but you actually never get to see that sprite. You never actually get to fight this sprite, I don't think. I'm fairly sure you don't. So this is a very unique sprite, and you'd think this would be a perfect opportunity, you know, to ex hmm, extend the story a little bit, but I don't know. Want the badge of courage, dear knight of the kingdom? Well, come and take it if you can, Gribbit. <laughs> I, I guess that's a ribbit grr. <laughs> yeah. Prepare yourself, Pollywog, on guard! Nirvana strike! What? <laughs> what? Gawk! How dare you pick on a helpless amphibian! Filthy <laughs> Medala! I won't forget this! <laughs> I guess if he's just gonna run away that easily, I guess it wouldn't have been purposeful. But I mean, like, there was a chick with them too, I don't know if anybody noticed that. Who is that chick? Does anybody know? Because I think that she has some connection to somebody, but I don't know. Ah, beware, Glenn! Cyrus, the sword! The Masamune! Oh my goodness, what has happened? <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Without your sword, you're nothing. Ugh. You haven't beaten me yet! Cyrus, I I'm a good honor. Glenn, escape while I keep them at bay. I keep them, I was gonna say busy. Just sort of rolls off the tongue. If you stay, they'll get us both. Go on, Glenn. You better worry more about yourself, Cyrus. Come on, Glenn. Go! Ah! Or, is it a bad thing to put ellipses there? If it's supposed to be him charging, you'd think it would just be like, maybe five exclamation points. This is Cyrus! This is supposed to be, you know, like really, really touching and sad, but... 
I don't know, I find this really, really funny. It's just like this no-name knight named Cyrus, right? Well, I guess he's technically not no-named. But he's like, there's nothing that distinguishes him from anything other than, you know, he just has a different color palette. And you don't really take very much investment in him as a character. The queen, take care of Lean. And then he just, you know, we, we meet him, and he seems, you know, just like a regular knight, and then he dies, and you don't really... I don't know, just to me personally, I don't see... I mean, it's Frog's backstory, which is cool and all, but at the same time, you're sort of like, ah, oh, whatever. Hmm. What's the matter? Aren't you going to try your luck? Ah. <laughs> Cat got your tongue, kid. How about it, Magus? Can't, uh, can't you give him a more fitting form? All right, why not? There's always time for a little fun. Back, back. And then he died. I do like the rainbow. Does anybody else see the rainbow touch over there in the corner? <laughs> You spineless wimp! Hmm. That's actually a good question. Do amphibians have spines? That's actually a very interesting question. I would think so, right? Like, I mean, they still have a skeletal structure. I may be thinking of something different, though. I can't remember if it's amphibians that don't have spines, or it's... They're, they're not particularly bones, they're more cartilage, but... That's, you know what, let's just not go too deep into what the game is trying to, uh, say. Ten years has passed. Can I do it? I've changed so much. Alas, poor Cyrus. Twinkle. Aww. Frog was having a moment. Awaketh, Chrono! Yeah, buddy. Get that frog theme playing. Though we may fail, let us go to Magus's castle. Or lair, sorry. Thou knowest his power? Nothing can beat science! NOTHING CAN BEAT SCIENCE! <laughs> yeah, sorry. Had to do it. We must do it to save our future. Alright, so we have to take Frog and Chrono. And, um, it's sort of a toss between Luca and Robo. Robo is probably the more fitting type just because he has an all-purpose heal spell. Marley is actually completely worthless at this part of the game, only because she shares the same element as Frog, and we'll get into that more as we go into Magus's lair and all that, but um, she's just not good for this part of the game, and there's no unique dialogue or anything that's really anything interesting from her. Luca is good, uh, mostly if you have her Fire 2 spell, which I don't have because I haven't really been using her. I'm investing more into Robo, so I'm probably going to take Robo along, but I do need to do a little bit of grinding that I'll probably do off screen, just to get some of Frog's techs up, um, just because he has not been in our party since, what, you know, um, the, like part 5? So, <laughs> yeah. We're probably going to do that. I was sort of debating whether or not which party to choose. And I, I like both. I like Frog, Chrono, Luca, and I also like Frog, um, Frog, Chrono, and Robo. Frog, Chrono, and Robo is probably the best, because um, it's very much like, um, whatchamacallit, Robo on Island Chrono. Very high DPS. But, uh, yeah. The first thing we want to do is um, actually not go and, uh, you know, hit to his lair. We actually need to go back to the end of time so Frog can learn his uh, water magic ability. So, whoops, I should, should go over to his text. As you can probably see, he only has Slurp and uh, Slurp Cut. So we're definitely going to need to remedy that situation by getting him to learn water. I think that maybe Specchio... Uh, I think, yeah, Specchio has changed forms now, because I'm above level 20, but uh, that can be debated, I guess, because I can't remember in this moment in time. I really should go through the castle one. I don't know why I'm going up here, but uh, might as well quickly just get rid of this stuff. But 
nevertheless. I've been, um, as of late, I've been sort of uh, re-looking for- oh, then <laughs> I got Blade Toss. That's, uh, oh yeah, and Triple Raid, that's right! This is our first triple tech with Robo, Frog, and uh, Chrono. Is it mixes Robo Tackle and um, and the X Strike ability, and it's pretty awesome if I do say so myself. But like I said, I've been uh, looking through my options of like work and stuff like that because now that that test is over, I have to wait a couple months for the results to come in because a lot of us were taking the test, and uh, I've been looking at sort of different job opportunities. And I'm sort of um, I'm sort of at this point where I think probably the best would be to get off of night shifts, even though night shifts are it's a very stable job. I work five nights a week, you know, eight hours a day, so it's very very stable. And you know, I'm guaranteed at least 35 hours a week, which is really really good. I mean, the only problem is is it's during the night, so yeah. Oh, there you go. Specchio, I, I didn't actually know that Specchio told you about Robo's ability. That uh, his lasers count as shadow. Oh, poor Robo. And one of the jobs that popped up was at a um, small gaming store. Um, that's in like the middle of the mall. No, I don't, I don't want to get my ass kicked by you, Specchio. He's really powerful at this moment in time. You don't want to face him until you're probably around level 28. Like, just beforehand. And I was just sort of like thinking that this would probably be um, like something good to actually do. Like, just, I don't know. Like, I was offered to it when I went there to pick up uh, Super Mario Galaxy. Because, yes, I'm sorry, guys. I, um, I <laughs> have never played them until just recently. I did a stream about it. And, um,. Yeah, uh, I was sort of just offered a job there. I still have to go through the ringer of, um, you know, having an interview and stuff like that. And I'm scheduled that sometime at the end of the week to go do it. And I'm just sort of, like, thinking, like, maybe if I reduce my hours on my overnight job and then took that one instead as, like, sort of a more main, main one. Oh, there we go, sort of stream, because he's learned water and everything. So these abilities and techs are really, really useful. Actually, I want to take a look at them real quick. Just to see how much grinding I'm going to be doing here. If I remember correctly, it's not going to be that much. Yeah. I think I want to get heal and another ability. I'm a little low-leveled for, actually, where I should be right now. And I think I may, just because, for right now, uh, I'm going to put Luca in my party. Maybe, like, see, this is the whole thing, like, I, I still haven't decided what I want to do, and it's really, really bad, I know. I'm being very indecisive. But I, I don't want to just, like, post this video and then just people, uh, like, tell me what to do, because I, I want to, like, record this part, like, I want to go all the way to the end of fighting Magus and stuff like that, or Magus, however we want to call him. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I just don't know. Robo's actually got some good dialogue here. I wish I had kept them actually now that I'm thinking about it. But like I said, this is exposition part. I don't know, maybe you guys can give me your opinions. Do you think that would be a better idea? You know, I would trade hours and my time for something a little bit more suitable. I don't know. It's just one of those things, right? Run for your lives! <laughs> I don't know why they're scared of Cyrus. I guess it's because he's an older boy. Sniffle, thank Cyrus. Hick. <laughs> hick? I don't think I've ever hicked when I've been crying. Glenn, there's times when people simply have to grit their teeth. I don't know what that meant. Is he telling him to, you know, actually... Like, you know, to actually beat, beat them up or what? But it hurts when I get hit. They... You're... <laughs> Do I have to say that? You're a marshmallow, Glenn. That that can't be the dialogue. That cannot be the r direct translation of that. I hope it's not like that in the DS version too, because that that's 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 pushing it a little bit, game. Just a little bit. 
You're a marshmallow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> God, I forgot how cheesy this part of the game was. Hey, Glenn. Oh, hey, Glenn. Sorry, wrong voice. I've been thinking about becoming a knight. I knew you were going to enlist. You'll make a great warrior. Why don't you join, too? I... I don't think I make the cut. Why? You're better with a sword than I am. I don't know. I think I'd really lose it if I had to hurt someone. <laughs> I don't know where this character trait came from, and why, you know, it just disappears afterwards. And what's really funny is, in the flashback just earlier, just in this part, it was nighttime, right? It was like dusk, right? And here now it is no longer dusk. <laughs> it's during the day. So there is a continuity error in the same flashback. Oh yeah, big spoiler. I think I spoiled it earlier, yeah. Glenn is actually Frog. But you know, like this whole character trait, he's like, I don't think I could ever hurt somebody. But I guess in the end, he he didn't join the knights because how it seems was that he was still a servant he was Cyrus's servant rather than uh, like an actual knight and he can just kill indiscriminately now I guess technically we're killing monsters so you know it's not killing someone else but I don't know the hero medal it was yours uh, handeth over the Masamune all right, it's time for epic badassery. This is one of those times where you wish you were playing the, um, what you call it, the uh, PlayStation remake or whatever. It's not really a remake; it was just a PlayStation thing. And uh, yeah, because this turns into a cinematic, and the cinematic is pretty badass. I think it's one of like the very first things that I ever favorited on my Winslet channel. So I guess if you really wanted to, you could go into that and look at it. But anyway. My name is Glenn, Cyrus's hopes and dreams, and now the Masamune. For with I shall slay Magus, and restore honor. Oh yeah, by the way, you probably want to turn down your speakers for this. This thing makes a very obnoxious noise. It's so beast mode though. In fact, it's just like run up to it, and just cut a freaking mountain in half! Hell yeah, Froggy! <laughs> Frogger's got nothing on this. Dodging traffic? Fuck that! Frog can cut a wall! Or a mountain. More, more of a mountain. Sort of a cliff. But nevertheless, I think that will do it for our exposition part of awesomeness. And I will see you guys next time with a little bit of level grinding. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just put that out there right now. So take care, stay frosty, and even though you enjoyed the part, you're still hungry.